This 2007 Country Coach Magna 630 is arguably the nicest Country Coach Magna we've ever had on the channel. This coach only has 14,000 miles. The interior colors are my personal favorite colors I've seen on a Country Coach interior. Those of you that know the channel know I'm a huge fan of Country Coach. This coach is built on the Dynamax chassis, which has semi-monocoque construction. It's got the Cummins 600 a 20,000 pound towing capacity, pre-DEF. Country Coach built the highest quality production motorhome in the industry until they unfortunately went out of business in 2010. Fortunately, there still are a lot of resources to get this coach serviced. Today, we're here at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida, where this coach is undergoing an extensive PDI and detail process. And they have several trained technicians that are able to work on this coach. And there are a lot of good resources as well in the Pacific Northwest between Premier RV of Oregon and Oregon Motor Coach Center, where a lot of the former Country Coach employees work and service these coaches. Now, I'm really excited to show you guys the interior of this coach, but before we do that, let's take a quick look at the basement bays. First cargo bay is gonna be a full pass-through bay. Bays two and three are gonna have these large slide trays. These are both full pass-through bays. And when we open these up, these are in excellent condition. All of this carpet is in excellent condition. Fourth bay is gonna be your house battery bank. And if you wanna know all of the date codes on these batteries, date codes on the tires, those will all be available at themotorcoachstore.com as soon as that information is available and it's undergone the check-in and PDI process. Next bay is gonna be your LP. That'll run your stove inside. This coach does have Michelin tires. I see date codes of 2021 on the drive axle and date codes of 2021 on the tag axle. A lot of value in having that fresh Michelin rubber on this coach. And here's your Lifeline chassis batteries. Coming around to the back of the coach, I love the Country Coach engine bay doors. They're kind of that barn style swing out door. And there's a look at that Cummins 600, an absolute beast. And Country Coach does a lot of cool little details like the Country Coach logo in that mud flap. And back here you have a little door for your power 50 amp cord reel. And right now we do have this generator running. It is a hot Florida day. So we're gonna put the slide rooms out, get these ACs fired up and take a look inside of this coach. And we're gonna leave the ACs running and the generator running while we film inside of this coach. You do have the key code entry for your door. And then I like to point out the little details that Country Coach does. Like you've got a deadbolt right here, but they brought that pinstripe and that paint scheme through the deadbolt. And then also when we open this front door, Country Coach has a wider entrance than a lot of the motorhomes out there and a beautiful tile entryway, but let's put these slide rooms out. So as you can see, this is one of the most beautiful country coaches I've been in. I'm a huge fan of this saddle colored leather and with the light tile floors, the light finishes on the ceiling, it all really ties together well with these cabinets. And those of you that know, you know, the country coach cabinetry is very high quality. Before we take a look at the rest of the coach, I've got to show you the cockpit. I love these two-toned cream color leather seats. They're extremely comfortable. These are massaging seats. The way the Country Coach drives this Magna with the 600 horsepower is an absolute beast. It does have the wood grain steering wheel, your gear selector for your Allison 4000 transmission. This is the beefier transmission. It has a cup holder here, simple rear view mirror controls, engine brake controls. Everything is very sleek, easy to read, easy to get to. This coach does have the HWH leveling system. And when we just put these slide rooms out, I forget just how smooth the Country Coach slides come in and out. So looking forward to showing that to you. This coach does have USB ports up front here, as well as a backup camera. It does have the Eaton Vorad collision avoidance system, tire pressure monitoring system, a lot of features on this coach. And then your passenger chair has a massaging seat as well. And you can just see these large bolsters here, this extra bolster by your headrest, very high-end, high-quality 
quality captain's chairs. You know, before going to a Prevo or an Affinity, the Magna was the top of the line, and really the Affinity was just a few things. It was a special paint job, certain kind of windows, and, and basically a Magna with just a few extra options. This coach does have three 15,000 BTU AC units. They are running off the generator right now, and it's still very quiet in this coach. There's this beautiful ceiling treatment, and even though it looks really cool with all of the upholstery and inlaid mirrors with the puck lighting inlaid, one of the other big advantages of all of this is it really keeps down on the noise from those rooftop ACs. This coach is definitely set up. If you want to party or tailgate, this is definitely set up for it. You can see how large this couch is here on the driver's side of the coach. You could very easily fit six people, maybe even more on this couch. And then definitely another four people easily over here. And it's got kind of a cool square pattern with the cream color stitching that really complements that saddle color leather well. And I also want to point out how light all of the puck lighting is in this coach. Sometimes country coaches of this vintage, the lights can get a little bit dull, but I would bet that they've probably had some sort of a lighting upgrade in here because it's very bright. There's also some cool accent lighting here that glows off of those tile floors. And there's a lot of cool little features in this coach, like the TV in the slide room here. So if you want to watch TV while you're going down the room, that's a nice spot for that. And then these beds actually fold out here. So if you want to have some sleeping and then the cool thing about this couch is you can fold both of those out so now you have a bed that could probably sleep two people a long way. You could definitely have a few people taking some naps on this area. If you've got friends that are tall like myself, some of those motorhome couches are a little bit short. This is definitely plenty long. I would say this couch is right around 12 feet total in length. So really, you know, two, six feet people could sleep long ways on this coach. And then this side over here will jackknife and this is gonna be right around eight feet tall. So a lot of sleeping up front here if you wanna bring your friends and have your friends crash out up here. Or for families, if you wanna have a lot of spots for the kids to sleep, this is a really good use of this space. And I've heard a lot of people that get bunk coaches say, sometimes the kids prefer to sleep out here in the living room where they've got a little more space. So really a lot of value in this floor plan. One thing that Country Coach didn't do that I really like is there's no overhead cabinets. A lot of times the production motorhomes will put cabinets here in the living room, which will block your window and shorten your headroom inside of the slide room, where I really like just having this area nice and open. And then on this side, they didn't do any cabinets at the front of the coach, leaving that open. But here towards the back, they actually do have some overhead cabinets. So you do have a spot to put some pillows or blankets. And then you have a little more storage here in the middle of the coach, some pantry space, all lined with carpet with adjustable shelving. The folks up in Lane County like to call this the coma cabinet here. You can just feel that quality when you open and close it. You've got your wine glasses hanging there. Those are set up so that those don't rattle while you're going down the road. And you can just tell how clean everything is in this coach. With only 14,000 miles, this coach has not gotten a lot of use. Then you've got lots of drawer space. It does have that silverware divider. And then this is something cool. There's this little kind of pull out cutting board. But if we do pull this out, there's actually an ironing board that we'll show you in a moment that can slide right into that place so that you do have a place to iron your clothes. You have a good amount of cabinet space, again, lined with carpet, a little pull out trash receptacle. And this is cool, it's on that string. So when you pull it out, it will open it up for you. And then a good amount of storage below your sink. And I love all of the little details that Country Coach does. Like you can see, this is actually a stove cover here, but if you look at the face of it, this countertop matches, but we can actually fold this up. And then you've got your two burner stove, and this is an LP coach. A lot of people do like to cook with LP. And then you have your Avantium microwave with a good amount of storage above your microwave. Then you have your large residential refrigerator with a water and ice dispenser, central vac down here. And in the Country Coach, it's your slide room 
controls are in this little panel. So I like that they put this door here just to cover up those switches. Then you can see the HWH slide controls and then your fantastic fan controls. It does have the fantastic fan here in the galley if you wanna get some fresh air in here. Now going back into the middle of the coach, if we did wanna section it off, there is a door right here and I like that it's a manual door. Some of the higher end coaches have air doors and electric doors that is just more stuff that can break. And then we can easily lock this into place and then come back into this huge mid bathroom. You have a lot of countertop space, very deep, huge medicine cabinet up top here, a large radius shower, a separate little room for your water closet. You do have another vent in here, lots of storage for TP and whatnot above your toilet. And then a second sink to wash your hands here in the bathroom and then more medicine cabinet space, again, lined with carpet. Coming into the back of the coach, there is a large door here. If you do wanna section off the back bedroom away from the coach, then your guests can still use the bathroom without bothering the owner of the coach. But you can also close that door up front there and then you have this large master suite where the rear bedroom kind of becomes a part of the bathroom and you've got this large area here to get ready with the big full-length mirrors in the back of the coach coming back into the bedroom here this carpet is in excellent condition looks like between a king and a queen more like a king size bed to me might be a junior king but i would bet this is probably a full king size bed and then you have a huge lg tv this is definitely an aftermarket tv but still countertops space nice deep drawers here you do have your safe tucked here in this cabinet and i like that they put that there stackable shelving here next to your tv pull out laundry hamper lots of nice little high-end details like that in this coach and then we've got the washer dryer combo here in the back so if you just want to put a load in and forget about it it'll wash and dry it all in one shot and then a large closet here along the back of the coach all lined with carpet uh, with a little area here overhead for more storage but i like to point this out this looks like it's never been used literally still in the wrapper but let's take this out front if you're on the road and want to make sure your clothes are looking good do a little bit of ironing you can take out that little piece right there slide in your ironing board and boom you've got a little spot to iron when you're done ironing and put this back in the closet throw your cutting board back in that spot just a nice little detail that country coach is thinking of to make your life easier i want to show you all how quickly the country coach slides come in the slide room controls for the rear two slides are in these back cabinet door here now we're going to start a timer in just a second because i want to show you all in real time so we're not going to make any cuts or any edits here we're going to start room number two right now retract see how quickly i mean that was like three seconds i'm going to toggle it over to room number one and you can see this uh this kitchen sink actually is a part of this slide room here as well boom those are in turn that off and then we come here to the middle panel again we've got to turn this key on to activate those slide rooms we're going to put in slide room number two for oh i put it hit extend retract oh heads up little user error there and that's a huge slide we're not hearing any binding it's just so effortless and then now that very large slide room with the big couch is coming in and if we could put a little uh, timer in the corner of that and I'm gonna bet that that's probably under two minutes. Boom, we're done. So as you can see, this coach is very livable, even with the slide rooms in. So if you were stopping at a truck stop overnight, it would be very comfortable to still stay in the coach. If you are a serious and qualified buyer, this coach is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $255,555. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you.